We are halfway through this year, and so far the data is positive about crime. Violent crime is down almost 30 percent. While that's an improvement, residents say they want to see more. The NRPD Citizen Satisfaction Survey, survey was released back in June. It showed 56 percent of residents reported feeling unsafe in their own communities. With an update on uh, her department's efforts, we have uh, Superintendent Ann Kirkpatrick in this morning. Uh, first of all, the news you made the other day was when, when the, that, that accident in the French Quarter. Yes. Uh, and, and I was asking you before we came on, I, I thought the chief had a driver. I do have a driver, but I was driving that afternoon, and I'm so grateful that no one was injured. But I do also want to take that opportunity to apologize again. Um, my pastor said a couple of weeks ago, I happened to hear a sermon that said, when you mess up, you fess up. Yeah. And that is also a part of leadership and leading the way that when even myself, if you mess up, I own this, I apologize for it and then I will take the consequences and then we're going to move on, which and, we should do. And not that you're not a good driver, but will you rethink that calling a driver again? No. <laughs> <laughs> I right. went to go see an injured officer at the hospital. I was just down the street And it was more I personal, lived. yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and let me ask you this, and, and you're 10 months into the job now, and I was asking you before we came on, was, was there anything you were blindsided by in this department? And uh, I would assume that the physical uh, uh, shape of the building for the headquarters wa was kind of a kick in the pants. That was a surprise. I did go through the hiring process, as we all know, but I had never been inside of the headquarters until I was hired. And so that was a surprise, the level of the condition of the building itself for the headquarters. But it's also been true for a lot of our um, district offices. And what do you, and you guys, you haven't fully moved out of, of, of the uh, uh, mid-city location to downtown, but you're about a third, two-thirds of the way there? A little more than two-thirds. We have three units left to make the move. They're in the process within a week to two weeks to be there to make the move and then we'll be completely out of the building. And, and uh, uh, downtown, I mean, wh where do all the police cars park and things like that? Right, but there is structured parking behind the building we're in now, and then we have parking arrangements across the street uh, where the Champion Square is, and if anyone who went to the old headquarters, there were a lot of parking challenges yeah. there. Yeah. So and, it, but, but it does say something about New Orleans when, when the condition of the, of the police headquarters is so decrepit that you didn't have air conditioning for I don't know how long, months? Months. Uh, many of our physical plants, many of our district offices, our evidence building and so forth, have been without air conditioning. And it's just been a, a surprise with respect to the infrastructure. But I do want to say, and I, and I mean this, thanks to Mayor Cantrell, she has uh, been very uh, receptive and active and the teams who are responsible in other departments for getting things corrected, she has been all over that to support everything to try to get it corrected. And you took over a department that had a, it, it, a share of troubles under a, a, a consent decree, yes. um, uh, a short, short staffed. I mean, uh, have we gone over a thousand officers yet? Not yet. We're uh, right around 900. We are, the goal would be to get back to the 1200 mark. That's the goal which means 300 more officers, but my commitment to this city, to this police department, was that I was only gonna hire people who deserve to be police officers, who deserve, who are the best of the best. I will not fill a seat for someone who shouldn't have a gun and someone who shouldn't be making decisions of authority and power over others unless they're the best of the best. And what, what, do, you, what do you look at? Because the, the, the crime rates are down nationally. Yes. So is it something that you've done or is it just a wave that's going across the country? Really great question. There is a national trend of downward on violent crime. But that trend's about 13%. We are, all, we are more than double that, and that's not because we're riding the tailwind of a trend. We are intentional with a strategy that we work, and so it is a result of intentional uh, 
strategy. It is not, we are not writing the, the tail of a trend and all eyes in the country are looking at New Orleans. Our numbers are amazing. And so if, if you get the 300 more officers, what do you think that would mean for crime in the city? And what is the likelihood of you getting 300 more officers in the next few years? I think we have a new recruiting plan and recruiting strategy. So our numbers, it's all about how many come to the table to apply. That's the key. How many come to the table and apply? Are we, there still incentives? There are incentives, and but every agency in this country is offering incentives. But we want more than just an incentive. We want our name and our reputation to be the best of the best. Winners are attracted to the hard teams to get on. Winners will always come to the table for that, and that's who we are. We're going to be the winning team and are the winning team. So there are incentives. Um, this police department has turned the corner. They've done a turnaround in terms of being really a uh, department in this country that embraces ethical policing and constitutional policing. Do you feel that, you, that, that we have brought pride back to the NOPD? Yes, I'm, we're working on, I want this, this patch and this badge to mean something. I am proud that I was selected as the superintendent of this police department. And if I've got the pride, then I want to be sure that every man and woman, professional staff, sworn staff, are proud to say they are New Orleans police. All right, Chief Ann Kirkpatrick, thank you very much. If you're just joining us, we'll have the full interview with Superintendent Kirkpatrick on our website, www.tv.com.